This is a video of the user interface for the Night Fighter F30C. Um, this uh, light has two sort of separate user interfaces. Um, one is with the head tightened, and one is uh, with the head loosened slightly. So uh, first we'll start with the head tight. Um, you can change the mode uh, using the switch in the tail cap. This is a forward clicky switch, so what that means is you can turn the light on either uh, by pressing halfway for a sort of momentary on or by clicking it into position. Um, either one of those will work for uh, turning the light on and off or changing the mode. The mode is changed when you turn the light off and then back on within about a second. Um, so we're in this mode now and I'll turn it off and back on really quick. We're going to change to another mode. You can see you can change the mode by clicking through them and then changing the brightness there or you can change it just by using the momentary on function. And it'll cycle through. So, uh, another feature of this light is it has a uh, mode memory, which means um, when you leave the light off uh, for a period of time longer than about a second, it'll remember the mode that you used last, and it'll come back on in that mode. So, if you remember the last mode we used, there was the low mode, and it'll come back on in that. I turn it back on, so it just remembered the low mode. Uh, this is also nice because it will uh, remember the mode. Um, even through battery changes. So if you uh, leave it on in low mode, you take it out, um, take out the battery, put it in, and when it'll remember that you were in low mode last, it'll come back on in low mode. Um, so this uh, regular uh, UI here with the head tight has um, four different modes total, three regular modes and one SOS mode. So it has high, medium, and low, and then SOS. So we're in low here. This is the high mode. Um, so I'm going to turn it off and let it remember the high so that we can start in high. So coming back on, we're in high mode, and then we're going to go down to medium, and then low. And then uh, the interesting thing about the SOS mode is it's not in the sequence like the others, but it comes on as after you've uh, as a third mode um, whenever you're cycling through. So we just went high, medium, and low, so the next mode is going to be SOS here. You can see it's doing the SOS pattern. Now the SOS mode is different from the others in, in that it's not uh, remembered by the mode memory. So after leaving it off here for a little bit, it's going to forget the SOS mode and it's going to come back on in high. After SOS, it always comes on in high. That is high, medium, and low. So that's the regular UI with the head tight. Um, it also has what they call a tactical user interface. Um, when my fighter calls a tactical UI, so when you loosen the head slightly, uh, you move into that, and the that has two modes. It has a fast strobe, and it has the turbo mode. The turbo is always going to be the highest output available, um, which most of the time is going to be a little bit higher than the high of the other modes. So um, right now we're in turbo mode here. Um, and if I turn it off and back on, it goes into strobe mode. And just like the other one, this has mode memory, so if I turn it off in strobe, both the strobe and the, and the turbo will be remembered, whichever one you leave it on, on last. So turn it off for a little bit, turn it back on, it remembers I was in strobe. And then I switch over to turbo mode here. If I turn it off and leave it off for a little bit, Turn it back on, it'll remember that I was in turbo. It's going to stay there. So, that is the user interface of the Night Fighter F30C.